Hey everybody, welcome to another edition here in the Washington Football Maniacs channel. I am Greg and welcome to another video. If you're new here, thanks for joining and if you're liking the content and you keep coming back, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting all choked up when I talk about this. No, really, I am just been choky this morning, but um, anyway, <laughs> if you would please consider subscribing to this channel and without further ado let's get into today's video shall we so it was announced on twitter uh by chris russell this morning i was reading it that the washington commanders have announced three prospective sites for the new stadium in virginia these three sites will be located in Sterling, Virginia, Woodbridge, Virginia, and Dumfries, Virginia. Now, reading the comments um, from several of these uh, Twitter folks, I guess you would say, um, it seems like Sterling would probably be the best option out, out of the three uh, simply because it's... Uh, it's the closest to the airport. Um, it's closest to the headquarters in Ashburn. Um, the Silver Line access, it's probably a no-brainer. Um, one person, uh, Marcus uh, Blackwell, <clears throat> did say that uh, they would likely need to build a new access road to bypass Georgetown Pike for more direct travel and a shortcut to I-495 and probably to also build a few new hotels, which makes perfect sense. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I don't know a lot about Northern Virginia. Obviously, I grew up in Southern Virginia. So, <clears throat> you know, looking at all of this, geographically speaking, in terms of, <clears throat> you know, which one would I consider, I mean, realistically, out of these three sites, from what I've read, it sounds like Sterling would be the best option. But as far as travel goes, um, for those of us who live further south, Dumfries would be closer. Uh, Dumfries, for me, I live in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, Dumfries would be closer. That's a four-hour drive for me. Uh, the uh, I think um, Sterling was the... the um, furthest out that was a five-hour drive and then um uh, woodbridge was uh about somewhere around four and a quarter four and a half hour drive so yeah dumfries would be closest but i don't know what's in dumfries honestly and it kind of sounds like any of these places would probably be a travel traffic nightmare for folks up up in northern Virginia, I'm sure that's true. Um, I have been on I-95. It is a nightmare as it is. I mean, uh, the last time that uh, my wife and I had traveled up to I-95, um, actually going up to FedEx Field, uh, we witnessed a uh, horrific, what could have been a, a very disastrous accident. Um, and it just it, it just stopped traffic across the, all lanes, and uh, so you know I, I think I was on pins and needles the rest of the way up to uh, FedEx. But um, yeah, it, it's definitely not my favorite interstate. I don't think anybody can say that they enjoy traveling up I ninety five. Having said that, I mean, you know, for uh, Virginia fans, and I'm talking about specifically more the Southern Virginia fans, uh, the ones who don't really uh, live around the DMV area, uh, you know, we would certainly enjoy having the team closer into Virginia. Now, you know, heck, we, we probably would say moving to Blacksburg, <laughs> you know, I mean, have them close to Virginia Tech, and that way you can have a twofer you can go and see the Hokies play on Saturday and then you know the commanders play on on Sunday um, now of course if they move too far into Virginia then you're going to have to really consider changing um, 
their name again, not the commander's name, but, you know, the Washington name to Virginia, which honestly, Virginia Commanders actually has a pretty nice ring to it. I, I think that sounds better than Washington Commanders, to be honest with you. Uh, and maybe that's their plan all along. Maybe they decided to pick a name that they felt could actually fit pretty well with Virginia if they decided to move a little too far into Virginia and to thumb their nose at Washington altogether. I mean, that could be the case. I mean, you, you just never know. Um, but that seems to be the three locations that Dan Snyder is uh, working with Virginia in terms of, of trying to find a new stadium location for the Washington Commanders. Again, I, I you know, I, I've read a lot about traffic nightmares, and the thing is, is that I have a feeling no matter where you're going to build this stadium, it's going to be a traffic nightmare anyway. And, and I'm specifically talking about Virginia. Um, I, I do understand uh, the idea of you want to build it close to a metro so that the DC folks can take the metro in to catch the game. That's great. Um, but, you know, for us, the rest of us fans outside who would want to go see games, uh, we're not going to have access to the Metro. We're going to have to actually drive to the games anyway. So, you know, it's not going to matter to us. Um, and who knows, maybe possibly if it is in a uh, location where Possibly if it is a little further south and where people would like for it to be. Would you lose some Maryland Maryland fans? Uh, my Southern is coming out. Would you lose some Maryland fans? Probably. Uh, we've already lost a lot of Maryland fans to the Ravens anyway. But um, I think you would, honestly, I think you would pick up some more Virginia fans who would actually go and attend the games more. Um, I mean, if you got them close enough, um uh, and I'm actually making it enough money at some point from this channel, I would definitely consider getting season tickets uh, for for the Commanders. I mean, yeah, you know, especially if they're playing really well. I mean, you know, if, if it got it under a four-hour drive, I would be willing to go. I mean, why not? You know, they have been my team since 81, so um, I have never had season tickets to any – NFL game team before, so um, that would be something that would be wonderful. Um, but yeah, as it stands right now, um, Landover is out of the question. I mean, uh, unless I had money to to take a, a flight every single weekend that they have a home game, it's just not happening for me. Um, so, and I'm not willing to to make that drive up every single weekend. I know some people have that. Um, uh, they have the budget and they have the ability to do it. I don't, you know. Um, I would be lucky to be able to catch one game per season, and I didn't even get to catch any games live this season, not even not even the game in Charlotte, and I'm closer to Charlotte, obviously, uh, than Landover. So that being said, um, what do you guys think? Do you think, well... Let me put it to you this way. Put it to you another way. Uh, which one of these places do you think is going to be the best place? Assuming that Virginia has won out, they are definitely going to move to Virginia. And this is all assumption now. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but um, the assumption is they're moving to Virginia. Maryland has lost out. DC's out of the question. Virginia is the winner. Which one of these places would you rather see the commanders move to? Dumfries, Sterling, or Woodbridge? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a shout out. Uh, leave, leave me a like, comment, share it with your other friends. If you're enjoying this channel, please consider subscribing. I can use your subscriptions. I can use your views. And with that said... I hope all of you guys and gals have a great weekend, and I will see you in the next one. Let's go, Maniacs.